What's up LEGO fans and welcome back. In this video we are going to be doing a review and comparison of the new LEGO Disney Castle celebrating 100 years of Disney films. This is set number 43222. It contains 4,837 pieces and it will be available to purchase as of July 1st. And here with me is Jason from Jason's Bricks in Five. And he has brought along his Disney castle. Yes, I have the original version. The original. Thanks for bringing this along and thanks for being here to help yeah. with this review, man. So give us some background on this original castle here. So this is the castle. I think it's from 2016. Mm -hmm. It's when it originally came out. Um, it just retired. I think it was last year. Mm, yeah. um, this one was $350 at the time. So this thing has, let's see, 4,080 pieces. Sounds about right. Now that's a significant difference in these two. I'm kind of feeling like a lot of that has to do with these smaller pieces in the facade of the castle, the new one here. Yeah, that's one of the things we notice is that the turrets, um, you know, these have these big, long pieces. And uh, we just don't see those here. It's more of a brick build. The other thing that jumped out to me is you notice the base is a little bit wider. And, you know, that there's not any real landscape outside. Whereas here you've got water and a little yeah, bit of Yeah, there's water and, and greenery. Yeah, you're right. So. I, I do like that about the new castle. Mm -hmm. um, what version of Disney Castle is this? This is the Cinderella version that's in Florida, right? Both of them. So this is the version from Walt Disney World in Orlando. It's also, interestingly enough, an exact copy that they have in Tokyo. Oh. When they built Tokyo Disneyland, they copied the one. I did not know that. Orlando. You know, when I'd heard the rumors they were coming out with a new castle, I was hopeful it would be one of the other ones, mm -hmm. whether it be Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, that's one I really hoped for. Yeah. Unfortunately, they chose to kind of do a rebuild. It's a rebuild, but it's a different color. Why is this thing pink? <laughs> So yeah, that's that, that's the first thing I said to him. I said, I don't like the color when I saw it. We talked about this and, and we looked at pictures. This is more true to the colors from the 50th anniversary. Unfortunately it is, yes. Right, so <laughs> I guess it was around 2019, uh, 2019, 2020 when they were prepping for the 50th. The 50th they anniversary. They made these more yeah. bright blue. They added a lot more gold on there and they kind of painted this kind of a light pink. You know, so the actual castle is you know kind of more that tone this is traditionally what i think of when i think of the castle mm -hmm. you know I've, I've been to disney world a, a handful of times and i think of this color scheme so when i first saw this honestly it was kind of a little jarring mm. and you know it, the bright blue certainly stands out you know kind of more of as a, a plate set than this one so for me personally i'm probably a fan of the color scheme here but that being said this is actually, I guess, accurate to the 50th anniversary yeah, well, there's a, the pictures. There's a picture of it uh, when we open up the instruction book, and there it is. It's, it's yeah. very clearly quite pinkish. Yeah. Uh, and But you know what, though? Here, here's what I, I love the gold. There's a lot of gold mm -hmm. in this thing, and I think that's another reason why there's so many more pieces in this thing, is that there are a lot of tiny gold elements used all throughout this thing. And I think this one is using the white. Yeah, you can see a lot of the little right. white spires yeah. here, whereas yours has a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. they're a little bit different pieces, but they're, right. they're gold, whereas these are white. So I love the gold, and I actually do like the, the blue walls of this new castle, um, but I just the, the pink is off for me. I don't know if I, I can get used to that, but I, I guess it's okay. I mean, it's true to what it really is, so there's that, right? I mean, the other thing I notice, this one is wider. I think we talked about that. Um, the part that looks kind of weird to me or it jumped out was this spire here my version there's no square mm, you know yeah it, it, and it's kind of a little bit different also i have a square spire here where yours is round you which is interesting see as that well. the other thing you know i mean the gates on um, you know along the motor are gold as well whereas here they're white kind of like you talked about well, before one thing i notice about like the main entrance like the big doors is uh, on this new castle there's like these big kind of drape like elements yeah. uh, like it's like this big reveal why not see that on on the old one yeah my, this is just the castle door i guess the and, castle and this door, is the yes. dark or you know the reddish brown i guess you'd say we've got the minifigs out here that is one thing that is different you know here we've got more of the cartoon characters you know mickey and his tux and minnie uh donald and daisy and then i think this is the only minifig of Tinkerbell available. So five minifigures, but I will argue that you have seven minifigures because you have the two guards that are statues at the back. 
Yes. And this one doesn't have those. And I think that's so cool. I wish I had those in this castle. I think that'd be really great to have. So I, I think the, you know, the selection here, I mean, it's it's just a different take, right? This, they've clearly gone for the prince and princess. Oh, yeah. On there. Um, and I, I think it's interesting because some of these, you know, we have not seen in minifig form you know tangled we haven't seen yeah so let's let's take a look at these let me make sure i get these names right because i was a little rusty on these so we have of course snow white and prince florian uh cinderella with prince charming princess tiana and prince naveen yes rapunzel and my personal favorite in this flynn rider and now i was i was curious why those four couples and i was trying to search the instructions and apparently it is because they are more of the fan favorites Okay. Uh, for whatever reason. So there you go. It's not why we have other ones. And they all have reversible faces. Uh, okay. So they have, there's some variety there. And I don't think Mickey and Minnie have reversible faces. Well, they right? definitely don't. I don't recall. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Tinkerbell does Tinkerbell not. Does so not. none of these have yeah. a reversible face. So that is pretty neat. Uh, I will say, and I love, of course, Flynn Rider's satchel as well. I think that's pretty cool that they give him that. Uh, but regardless, those are great minifigures. Uh, and I think, I don't know, you can argue that it's uh, an improvement or maybe not. I don't know. It just really depends on personal taste. That kind of transitions us into the interior of this because the big thing about the interior of this new castle is that they have these massive murals of the princess, of each of the four princesses on the interior here on these walls. And they're very interesting, they're all stickers. The difference here is that in the middle here, and this is one of the functions of this new castle, is that you can put a couple in the middle here and turn this gear and they start dancing, twirling around in a circle. I think in the old castle it was, it was kind of an interesting uh, tile yeah, that was one of the interesting parts I, I really remember from doing the build is, you know, it's got these tiles and you place them at, you know, kind of a weird angle. That's one of the things I really remember is, and, you know, I think it looks really good with the way the tiles are and, you know, it, it it's a definitely a different look than yeah. the, the courtyard in yours. When you talk about the interior, it is all about the Easter eggs. Yeah. And they don't, they're, and these aren't even Easter eggs. They are, they're not hidden. They are so obvious. And thank goodness for somebody like me who is not really <laughs> super familiar with Disney and other movies. And I know the classics, don't get me wrong, but thank goodness in the instruction booklet, they give us a map of all of the Easter eggs. So are you ready for this? But there is one in yours that's not mentioned here. So you fans at home, uh, listen up and see if you can uh, find the one that it, we're missing here. Uh, we have this uh, reference to the Little Mermaid. Right with her little theme of thing about ops, right? Yep. With the, the fork, dinglehopper. the dingle hopper. <laughs> uh, so we have that. We have the sword and the stone. Uh, we also have the mop and the bucket there by that fountain, which is Fantasia, yep. right? We have Sorcerer Mickey as well, but I get you get the, the hat. hat. See what's up with that? This doesn't yeah. have a hat. Uh, we have these leaves blowing in the wind over here, which is Pocahontas. Yep. And I think that is everything on the main floor. Uh, we'll go up here, right here above the Little Mermaid. We have, of course, the Mulan reference. Mm -hmm. And what we also have is a pumpkin at the top for Cinderella. Now, what's interesting about this is yours also has a pumpkin, but it's a jack-o'-lantern. Yes. Right? That's the difference here. So yes. I guess they didn't have a pumpkin like that. At, back in 2016, I don't know. I don't know. But you turn the pumpkin around, you don't see the face, you're good, right? <laughs> I guess. I don't, know, I don't know what the thought was there. I figured maybe it was uh, the Headless Horseman. The head, well, you know that what? Ichabod Crane. Yeah, it could be that. Absolutely. Why not, right? There you go. you got Sword in the Stone. That's not a princess movie. So yeah, yeah. what's up with that, right? <laughs> well, Disney films, etc. What are you going to yeah. do? Now, the next uh, level here, this is the, the top level, or the first of the top levels. This whole entire area is for beauty and the beast. So this is a pretty nice area. Nice setup. I like the big chandelier there at the top there as well. The dishes are laid out. Really nice. You have the teacup there as well. I like that teacup there. And we also have a secret compartment. Yes. Right? So this new one has the same secret compartment, but there are different items in here. So you have this reel-to-reel -reel camera, really old uh, style camera here, along with a sketch of Mickey Mouse, as well as a magic wand, I guess maybe a Fantasia reference, perhaps there as well, but yeah. or regardless. Tinkerbell. Or Tinkerbell. That's right. I would have rather had Tinkerbell. Whereas yours has a glass slipper that is brick built. Correct. Right? They made a big deal about the, uh, the glass slipper because the glass slipper in the new castle is way, way, way here at the top. Yeah. And it is a tile, a one by two tile. Yeah, and in there with that is also the fairy tale book. That's cool. I wish mine came with that. Unfortunately, it does not. That is pretty cool. That is an exclusive print right there, my friend. Yep. All right, so let's see. Above that, we have, and this is going to be pretty obvious here, we have an Aladdin lamp, and we also have the magic carpet. 
Uh, we have a bookcase with, with the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, we have an oar along with uh, the Mo a Moana reference with uh, Maui, a picture of Maui there. Oh, well, of course, we have to have Rapunzel from Tangled. We have the uh, the window looking at all of the lanterns being mm -hmm. launched into the air. I and know they have some of her painting supplies. Yeah, there are some painting supplies. Yeah, good call. Yeah. There is some paint right there. Very nice. Uh, we have the bed, like a bedroom. It's very tight up there, though, for Cinderella. Um, Sleeping and, Beauty. Oh, uh, Sleeping Beauty. See, that's why I brought him so he could correct I mean, me. Cinderella when I, might stay there when she visits. When, <laughs> when I make a mistake like this, which we knew was going to happen, thank you for that. Uh, then we have, this, now this is interesting, this is another moving part here. We have uh, the spindle, right? Yeah. And then we also have, we can turn this around, and then we have the Maleficent reference here. Right? Yeah. That, see, I got it. All right. And then above that we have, of course, the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And then there is, I think, one more reference here. And I don't know why, but they gave me a red apple, and it's actually hidden here in this attic part right That's there. for Snow White. Well, yeah, it is for Snow White for sure, but it's not even mentioned in here. Uh, and they just kind of had me plop it in there for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. So going back to what we were talking about earlier, what Disney movie reference does your castle have that this one does not? Well, I guess front area between the mezzanine. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got a reference to Brave, and yours is just empty. There's no Brave. Our castle's not Brave, you guys. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so. there you go. One thing that I want to mention here, as I'm looking at this at the very top here, is that we have fireworks going off. Yeah, that's right? one of the things that's interesting. So both of these have fireworks. Yours are the exploding fireworks, whereas mine are launching fireworks. So there's the little button right in here, mm -hmm. and it's just a shooter. Pow. <laughs> that was very exciting. Very exciting. Woo! Wow, look how far it goes. Wow. Watch out. Oh, look, there they are. Poof! Oh, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Disney magic. And one more thing I want to make mention is that I think I can fit two minifigures in the top spire here. Uh, where I think you can just squeeze maybe one if you're lucky, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah so there you go. There's a little bit more room for our, our happy couples to gather up there. But yeah, a great castle nonetheless. Uh, the build was fun. It went pretty quick. It's, in, it's built in 25 sections. Uh, and I felt like it had a good uh, good pace to it. I uh, got it done pretty quick. Uh, I didn't feel like it was tedious at all, yeah. uh, despite it having close to 5,000 pieces. But no, bo both great castles. So if both of these were on sale at the same time, and let's say they were roughly the same price, what would you go for? So this would be my recommendation. Uh, I original. agree. This is a good castle. Like it, I, I, I don't think this is bad by any means. I, mm -hmm. The disappointments I have, I, you know, I kind of talked about them. I wish it was a different one, I would be inclined to get it. Right. Where it's the same thing, mm -hmm. and I don't like the colors as much, and mm -hmm. it's a little bit more, I'm probably going to pass, honestly, for me. Yeah. But that being said, if you missed out on this one, you know, and, and so I've seen this, you know, online for five to six hundred dollars on the secondary mm. market. Yeah. You know, at that point, this looks a little more attractive if you sure. missed out and you're looking to get that. So I guess that's kind of a personal preference thing. Yeah, and, People and for decide. me, I never bought this, yeah. right? It, it was available for eight years. Wait, was it mm. seven, seven or eight years? I think it was seven. And I never got it. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. But, and even when it retired, I felt like, meh, whatever. Yeah. So I don't think I would buy this one either, uh, that, that being the case. But that's not because it's a bad set or a bad castle. It's just that I'm just not hugely interested in this type of Lego set. You're not right? a Disney fan. Well, I, I mean, like Disney the, the, just as much as the next I, guy. I'm not saying you're against Disney, but you, you have other lines that you There are other instead. preferences that I clearly like. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. So, you know, and, and that's just the way it has to be, unfortunately, mm -hmm. with Lego. Yeah. So, you know, but for someone that's a big Lego fan, uh, you know, Lego and Disney. Lego fan, and Disney. This say. is right up your alley. Absolutely. You know, I think it's good. If you already have this, I, that's where you got to decide. I mean, is it worth the minifigures? I think it's interesting because Tiana's available right now in oh, the CMS. Yeah, sure enough. Well, all right. Well, there you go, guys. There is your review and comparison of the two massive Disney castles. Again, this will be available to purchase as of July 1st. And I also want to give a big thank you to the Lego Group for providing us this early copy for review. Hey, a big thanks to Jason from Jason's Bricks in Five uh, and your castle. Me. Absolutely. I'll put a link to your channel in the description below. He's got a great channel and it's actually, his videos are always under five minutes. It's fantastic. So <laughs> check him out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.